Hello, I'm back with part two of federal style houses for my Sims 4 era houses. Um, this part, I end up doing the second floor and fixing some of the windows and the exterior. So I start with the uh, bath, the shared bathroom. I end up just doing a bathtub in this one. And I know in the last video, I talked about how like most bathrooms at least have a shower. Um, but I don't have room to put both and I thought a bath felt fit better in this bathroom under that window. So, uh, this bathroom only has a bathtub, toilet, and sink. I did not decorate it like I usually decorate bathrooms. I did talk about in the previous video how I end up adding a nice decorated window here. Honestly, I wish I had m more options for this to kind of extend and look good over the uh, door. I know that The Sims 3 has better like windows to do this with, but you do what you gotta do and this is what we got. So um, here I am. I know I had such a hard time with the placement of these windows and how I was gonna do it, especially because the staircase. Now I think I did turn on move objects and uh, the cheats and have that there for a bit but I ended up deleting when I came back to do the exterior because I actually recorded doing the upstairs floor um different than doing the exterior um I recorded this part last night and then the rest this morning it's all in one video because I end up not taking as much time so then I go into the first ba bedroom this is kind of like I would say this would be more of a guest bedroom than the master bedroom. It is bigger than the master bedroom, but it doesn't have its own bathroom like the master bedroom does. Um, so I'm kind of getting the matching wood, and I wanted to make this very elegant looking. So we have that nice fancy bed with the nice uh, nightstands, the fancy uh, mirror. I end up putting some big... Uh, I end up actually using the same lighting for all the rooms, but I end up putting some nice fancy pictures and elements. I end up putting a sitting, uh, like a chair in there, uh, kind of a seated chair, just a relax kind of thing. Um, I made three of the bedrooms, like one kind of being like a teen girl's room, the other one being like a shared little boy's room, and then a baby room was the final, like, smaller bedroom. But this one would definitely be more fitting for a uh, guest bedroom. Here I'm putting kind of like a, a relaxed chair to sit in that kind of matches it. I end up putting an off blue because I think it worked better with kind of adding some different colors to the room and a more hominess instead of perfect picture perfect look. Then you got a nice uh, table next to it set. set. I don't, did I end up putting that table there. I don't know. I messed with this room for a little bit. I was a little distracted while I was messing with the room, trying to put decorations in, put a plant in the corner to fill it out more. I think I end up coming back later on and putting a rug in here um, to make it feel more full, but I don't do that right away. I always say with The Sims 4, I'm going to say it again, they need more picture options because like you have like these fancy ones and then you have these kind of like posters. They have so many posters and I feel like I never use them. Like, when I was a kid, we didn't have, like, a billion posters on the wall like you see in some kids' rooms. Like, my parent, mom did not let us do that. Uh, we had her artwork in our rooms hung up. So, we didn't have, like, the posters or the band posters. I think the only time I ever had a poster, I had a Barbie poster in my room, but it was, like, framed. So, I don't know. I wanted to put more in that against that wall, but I ended up moving on and going to the next room without messing with it too much. So then this one is the one that I end up decorating more girly. So this would be like a, like a girly teen girl room. Um, I'd say she's, uh, likes it a little bit more fancy. I didn't know if I wanted to go with pink right away, but I ended up settling with it cause the walls were already pink. I could have probably put a different, uh, a different bed, I think my issue was the wood of the bed was white and it didn't match the trim of the rest of the room. So I end up going whatever. I guess all this furniture is going to be white. doesn't match the trim. It's fine. 
Um, her This room was very simple, simplistic. I didn't do too much with it uh, besides putting a painting above the bed, matching the white. I wanted to put something more there, but I decided not to because it would have been too much. Especially with the door going right across that wall. Maybe I could have probably put a picture or something, but then I felt like that would be a little too tacky. So this room I end up doing like a little boy's room. So we have two like beds with their desk on them. And then um, shared uh, dresser. What is I put against the other wall. I like this, this little seat type thing, but I felt like it didn't really fit in where I put it. Um, but I definitely will probably try and use that more often in the future. I don't know. Sometimes I'll go through like some of these objects that I like have time to and sit through and just kind of go through what's there. I feel like there's not enough kid stuff. I know that there's a kid's pack and I have that kid's pack, but it still didn't add enough. Here's I'm going in and adding rugs to fill out the room a little bit more, which does like make the room look 10 times more lived in. I said it last video, like, it's crazy how much a rug can do. I wanted to make that a little bit extended, but... Because the room's odd-shaped and it's small. And I don't like it. So I end up making this uh, kind of like a nursery. So you have, like, the, the, the baby... The baby thing, yeah. Words aren't coming with me today. I just... Uh, it's not working, so... Yeah, the baby thing. Um, <laughs> the crib... There we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, the crib there. And then I also have like the toddler bed um, that I end up putting here. I love that I can found out, I found out you can size down these doll houses and it still work without too many clipping issues because a six tile doll house, that being the four tiles the dollhouse takes and the two tiles for like the the Sims to use, uh, it's so much better that they're, you're able to size it down because for some reason The Sims 4 wanted to be obnoxiously big. I apologize if you hear my obnoxious cat in the background. He uh, wants attention and after I finish recording I'll probably love on him. He doesn't usually want attention but of course now that I'm doing something he does. Uh, so in here I end up putting, I wanted to put a bath in this area but I felt like that was kind of just an awkward spot. So I end up making that whole four tile area like a large shower. Um, that's very common when I was looking at buying my house. Uh, I require the big whirlpool bathtubs. Like I wanted a big bathtub. And the reason we didn't go with a lot of houses is because they actually got rid of those whirlpool bathtubs in a lot of houses and opted for these big showers. Now it would be cool if I could put like a, a, like a seat in there that is from the wall but you can't really do much with the sims it's limited so we just get this big shower um that you see here and then i think i end up putting a small sink and then a bathtub and a toilet because it is a master bath and i don't know i like taking baths i know some people think that's weird but i don't know it's relaxing after a long day at work it nothing is more enjoyable than coming home to a nice hot bath with the jets on. I saw this trick that you put the window using move objects cheats, put the window on there and then remove the wall and it will always stay up. Even when you put the window, the walls down that like stays up. And I think that looks so much better than it not staying up. So I actually decorated this bathroom unlike any of the other bathrooms in the house. I didn't put toilet paper in. Like I don't think I put toilet paper at all. I added like, that above the toilet and some other stuff. I end up fast uh, doing this last bedroom pretty quickly because uh, my husband and his friend wanted to play some leagues. So I was like, all right, let me finish this bedroom. That's why I didn't do the exterior recorded at the same time as the upstairs because I was like, all right, time to quickly do this. Um, so I wanted to go with a more fancy bed than what I used in the other rooms, but I think I end up going with the same kind of bed. Um, just because I think it's elegant without being too much. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I say it so many times. Sims 4, 
like there's so much it lacks on like the sims 3 you could edit every color and make it match but it caused a lot of lag so i understand why it's not here but i'm gonna complain about that pretty much every video like i think the three things that i complain about in every video there's not enough pictures there's not enough windows there the sims 3 color options are way better than the sims 4 but i understand that there's lag like i could go on about the same thing so once i finish this bedroom i end up pausing the video and doing the rest recording the rest later um but because it's only like 10 minutes that this video takes me i end up recording it together trying to find a rug for this space was a pain in the butt because it was too big to fit like if it overfit the room or it just was awkward so i end up actually not putting a rug in this room just because the shape and the placement i decided that was good so this is where I kind of start the exterior. So I think I start with the fencing and I wanted to use the same kind of fencing as um, the, the railing that I have there. And at first I started wrapping it around, but I felt like it didn't look right. And looking at the picture that I was basing this house off of, there was like that brick, like over, like the brick base. And so I was going to like, okay, can I raise it? Like you can raise um, walls and stuff. Nope, can't do that. So then I was testing to see if I could do like a half wall or something like that. And it just didn't look right. And then I realized that one of the times I had made a mistake and actually tried to do a fence and extended it. And I'm like, I'm going to do that here, except this is not a mistake. And it actually worked perfectly. I was so excited because I was like, okay, now I can have that like brick base and the fence still be on top. So if you ever want to like have like your fence to be higher, but like have that brick base, this is how you do it. You basically put, uh, connect it to the foundation, draw it out, and then delete that block. And it makes it 10 times more like filled and taller so i don't know how actual gates would work with it because i didn't have to put a gate in for this but it actually i'm actually pretty pleased with how that fence turned out for this build so i end up thinking that this wall was a little blank so i know that on this side of the house in the picture there were trees but i ended up putting trees on the other side and on this side i put ivy up the house my one issue is I feel like there's not enough difference in like the ivy look that it kind of looks like the same thing over again. So I end up like putting a bunch in the same place. So I end up putting a lot, which ends up increasing the value of the house for no reason at all. But it works. So you're going to get to see me go and put all this up. I end up, I wish there was like, a triangular shape ivy that matched this perfectly that I could put it so it like goes up to the roof and kind of doesn't stop um, but I think what I did worked pretty well and this like this little piece took me a while I was also watching next Netflix show on my other monitor at the same time so I was kind of slow at it but I ended up getting it to a place that I liked it where it was full enough but it didn't look weird and yeah, there's me just putting a billion over the same spot. And here's, I'm testing to see how close to the, the, the roof of it I can get. And now you can kind of see where it looks the same, but if you're like zoomed out, nobody's really going to notice. So, I mean, you do with, you do what, you do with what you got. You know what I mean? You make do. Um, so that kind of filled that out a little bit more. If I were to go back, maybe I'd make more of a chimney type thing. I added some flowers into it. I don't know. I like to add decorations to give the the house a little bit more full of a look. I wish I could have put kept the windows like under where they were, but it just looks stupid with the staircase being cutting the window like in half. So I end up getting rid of them and putting. I think I put lights in there instead and some plants, like hanging plants. Um, I don't know. This house is these symmetrical like houses are so hard to do perfectly especially with staircases unless i had like made it longer towards the back and had one of those big staircases that went up into different sides but that's hard to do because you can't really do railing with that if you do it 
too wide and then like them going in different directions because if you put the railing in it like you can't delete the railing on one side like it's gonna be there and it kind of cuts the ha the 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 staircase in half so on this side i end up putting those really tall trees to kind of like block that wall um i don't know i think it kind of gives it a little bit more decoration i would not want trees that close to my house um we just did some landscaping on our house here and we were like ripped out a bunch of stuff but like against our house it's so dirty because of the trees and all that kind of stuff and like the previous owners obviously didn't leave obviously didn't ever like clean the paneling of our house so like we actually took a pressure washer to it today to kind of clean up some of the paneling we only did the back side of our house because we're up to a golf course uh but it looks so much better there's still it's still got work to do but i don't know so, of course, adding some terrain paint. I end up making it a little bit too wide, but I end up adding some flowers and plants to different parts of it. Always adding this little element to it makes it look a lot better. Like, it just being straight grass just doesn't give it an actual realistic feel. I don't know. I think... Oh, here I'm going to say it again. There could be more plants. There's not enough plants. There's not enough trees. Like, I don't know obviously you can do creative content i own every pack of sims 4 sims 3 and sims 2 like and there's still not enough like i put so much money so i think once i finish this last little bit and i do some more terrain painting that concludes the exterior i could have put more flowers in the area but i felt like i don't know it was much and i don't like too much difference because i think it looks too tacky like, I end up putting some bushes in there and being like, okay, that's too much. So, a little bit more terrain painting here. Because under the plants, you definitely have a little bit more of a dirt area than grass straight up to it. I don't know. I wish they had, like, a mulch, like, look. That would add a lot of, like, element, like, of, I don't know, art to it. So, I don't know. There's there's a lot that can be done. Um, making, I was, there's where I'm like pulling out the trees and being like, okay, no, that looks stupid. So yeah, that concludes this house build and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and let me know how I can make these videos better. And you can get the house on the Sim store. Uh, oh yeah, you can get the house on the Sim store and, um, my username is Smashley Brewer. Thank you.